Hello dear viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel Educational Workshop. I hope all of you are doing well. As you know, we have divided this topic into three parts and each part will be covered in a separate video in detail. In the first part, we talked and studied about the history and origin of Palestine-Israel conflict. In the next second part, we are going to cover the current scenario of this topic. Current scenario simply means that why this issue has so much importance, there are a lot of other issues which do not have this much importance. And articles are also being published in the newspapers. Media has also raised this issue very much. So we will look at all these things in detail in this part. So let's get started with the second part of our topic. Before starting our lecture properly, we have to understand these two terminologies completely. These two terminologies are very important if you want to understand this topic. So let's look at the first term that is normalization. Normalization simply means that establishing formal relationship between two countries where before there was none through things such as trade deals, setting up embassies and direct flights. Now if you want to make this definition more simple so you can take an example to understand this term normalization. For example, there are two countries such as Pakistan and India. These both countries do not have a relationship with each other. But now they want to establish the relationship with each other. So they can easily do it by establishing trade deals, direct flights and setting up embassies. This process is called normalization. Now let's look at the second term that is recognition. Recognition simply means that accepting someone or something as having legal or official authority. Let me clear this definition by an example. For instance, there is a country named Israel. Most of the Muslim countries do not recognize Israel as a state. Now, if some Muslim countries want to recognize Israel as a state, so this means a recognition. So there are still some Muslim countries which do not recognize Israel as a state. Let's look at the background why they do not recognize Israel as a state. In 1948, Israel expelled around 700,000 Palestinians and declared itself a state. We discussed and studied this point in detail in the first part. If you have not watched the first part of this topic, so I would recommend that you should watch the first part and then come to the second part. You would understand this part very well then. So, after this incident, most of the Muslim states announced not to have any kind of relationship with Israel. For instance, the first Governor General of Pakistan, Qaidiyazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, said that we cannot ever accept Israel as long as Palestinians are not given their rights and there is no just settlement. So, the leaders of other Muslim countries also announced not to have any kind of relationship with Israel. Now let's come to the main point of this topic and let's analyze why are some Arabs going to recognize Israel as a state and why they are establishing a relationship with Israel despite the fact that they had pledged in 1948 that they will never establish a relationship with the Israel because of its cruelty on Palestinians. The issue that has been raised very much and about this issue we listened more about in our society and our media has also raised this issue very much. So let's look at the reasons why Arabs, Arab countries are going to recognize Israel and why this issue has been raised very much. The first factor is science and technology. As you know that Israel is the most developed country in the world. It has a great technology in many forms. They are also really well at science. So this first factor, science and technology, led Arab countries to recognize Israel. Secondly, Israel has a great military equipment. We also see that India has a great relationship with Israel because of the military equipment that Israel provides to India. So Israel is rich enough in military equipment. So that is the second factor that led Arab countries to recognize Israel. Now if you analyze and study the role of Benjamin Netanyahu who is the current Prime Minister of Israel, so he has a great role in making the Arab countries to go for the recognition of Israel. Now let me ask you a simple question, 
that does it really matter to Israel if some Arab countries want to establish a relationship with Israel? So I would say it does matter to Israel because of two reasons. One is Benjamin Netanyahu has a long political career. Netanyahu has now faced the persistent criticism that his policies towards the Palestinians would lead to Israel's isolation abroad. Means that the policies that Netanyahu has adopted would lead Israel to the isolation abroad. Now in order to counter that claim, Netanyahu has made developing relationships with other states. Secondly, Israel wants to have more and more friends in order to revive the ability to really openly work and openly trade with these countries. First, the Israel didn't used to work openly and trade with other countries openly, but now Israel wants to have more and more friends so that it could work openly with many uh, countries. So these are the two reasons behind the role of Benjamin Netanyahu in establishing a relationship or normalizing a relationship with other Arab countries. Now there are some facts and figures which I have accumulated from multiple sources and which should be understood properly. The first is currently 167 out of 193 UN member states officially recognize Israel means that the UN officially has 193 member states and out of these 193 member states 167 recognize Israel officially. Secondly, Muslim countries that have recognized Israel. So these are the six Muslim countries that have recognized Israel as a state so far. First one is Egypt, Jordan, Sudan, Morocco, UAE and Bahrain. The third one is those who have not recognized Israel yet. So there are 26 defiant countries who do not accept Israel officially including Pakistan. Now let's talk about a confusion that is circulating across social media about the relationship between Israel and Saudi Arabia. So one report says that the US and Israeli media say that the American Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was on an official visit to Saudi Arabia when Benjamin Netanyahu flew over to and the Saudis though say that it never happened. So there is a confusion that has been created over social media that Israel and Saudi Arabia have a, a hidden relationship with each other. But the Saudis have denied this thing that they will never have a relationship with Israel until there is a just settlement with Palestinians. Now at the end let's summarize the lecture that we have studied in this part. I have summarized this topic from my point of view you can also summarize it. So Israel has once again become the burning issue because it wants to normalize relations with other countries and especially Arab. On the other hand these countries go for this recognition just because of business. Resultantly it has given birth to the debate on whether the countries should get recognized Israel or not. Now, the situation that most of the countries face uh, is that whether the Arab countries should get recognized Israel or not. So about this question, we are going to talk about in the next part. Now, if you have any questions regarding this topic, so you can ask them in the comment box. If you want to add something to this topic, you can do it as well. At the end, if you have not subscribed the channel yet, do it right away and press the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of the recent videos.